In this video, we head to the desert town of Ocotillo, California, right off Interstate 8. Ocotillo began as a retirement community and was once an important stop on Highway 80. Nowadays, the town is the starting point or ending point, depending on which direction you're traveling, of the historic Highway S2 and features many abandoned roadside businesses and a ton of wind turbines. The town is also home to the Imperial Valley Desert Museum, which is a really cool museum and an interesting place to stop and learn about the area's history. The original Desert Museum was part of Imperial Valley College and was located in downtown El Centro. A 1979 earthquake destroyed the original building and the museum was then moved to Ocotillo. The museum opened its doors at its current location in 2012. The interior of the museum is small, but features a lot of information on the area. There are a large number of Kumeyaay ceramic vessels on display, as well as stone tools and other Native American artifacts. I thought one of the more interesting exhibits was the one on Lake Cahia, a lake that once covered the entire Imperial Valley. There is a fantastic diorama of the shoreline of Lake Cahia to show what it might have been like to live along the lake. It isn't mentioned at the museum, but there is a legend that a Spanish galleon sailed into the lake and was shipwrecked and is now buried in the desert. The museum also had exhibits on a wide variety of subjects such as the local geology, local businesses, and local wildlife. A small gift shop can be found in the museum as well. Like I mentioned, the museum is small, but it is jam-packed with info. But the thing that we probably liked best at the museum was the outside walking trail. The walking trail isn't very long, it's easy to follow, and there is a lot to see on it. It was great that everything on the trail had a sign, and most of the signs had a ton of information on them, such as the sign at this large Kumeyaay Observatory. There is also an enclosure for a desert tortoise on the trail, though unfortunately there was no tortoise in the enclosure on our visit. We were told that the tortoise that was there had recently passed away. There was also an informational sign for the Blythe and Talios, which are large geoglyphs that are located near the Colorado River. We actually did a video on them previously, which I'll link down in the description. But come to find out, the Imperial Valley Desert Museum actually has their own geoglyph on the property. There is supposedly a snake here, and it's actually digitally enhanced in one of the pictures on the informational sign. But we looked and looked and stared out into the desert for quite a while and just never quite saw a snake but let us know in the comments if you see a snake out there. Probably the most well-known thing at the museum, because of how visible it is from Interstate 8, is the Spirit of the Desert statue. The museum trail allows you to get right up next to the statue and definitely offers the best vantage point for taking photos of it. The trail is also a great way to learn about local plant life and take in some awesome views of the desert and the Coyote Mountains in the distance. I should mention the one drawback to the trail, however. On our visit, it was about 100 degrees, and while there were places to sit, there wasn't much in the way of shade. So if you do visit in the summer, plan accordingly. There were some picnic tables near the entrance to the museum that made an attempt at shade, and of course the inside of the museum is nicely air-conditioned. Personally, I love stopping at and visiting local museums when I'm on a trip, and the Imperial Valley Desert Museum is definitely worth stopping at and spending an hour or so of your time if you find yourself in the area. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we do want to give a special thanks to Ron Stahl, who sent us an email and gave us the idea to go visit the Imperial Valley Desert Museum. We really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.